out to sea. All those plans I made for myself, I got nobody else. Welcome to everyone joining us to experience stories of resilience, hope, perseverance, and joy. Move over to a sport chair, a basketball wheelchair. Category of best video are. We love you guys. What's your, uh, what, do, you have, do you do New Year's resolution this year? Nothing, huh? But I have a goal of being... Just intentional. Oh, yeah, thank you. I have a goal of being more intentional about more production and less consumption. Oh, wow. In all yeah. things. Wow, all right. Specifically... More like, production, less consumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I hear the word consumption. I hear, I think of the word, I think of consumption tax. You know, we have this, mm. we have this progressive tax system here in the United States that is 72,000 pages long. That's about a five-story building. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think it is. I, I'm not. I'm not exactly. In fact, Bianca Zerpa Delgado, one of our senior producers, Bianca, look up and find out how much. How many stories high is 72,000 pages of paper? Oh I, I'd like. God. At one point, it was like three stories. Like I, when I was talking about this before, and this progressive tax code of ours <clears throat> has where the uh, top tier uh, earners, which, by the way, sorry to tell you, you're, you guys are all top tier earners, mm -hmm. um, whether you believe it or not. <laughs> um, but, but. You're paying 85% of the taxes. Mm. And that's not very progressive. So there's two other options out there. There's a fair tax, uh, whereby everyone gets a stipend every year to sort of cover their, their tax fee. And it's kind of a complicated thing. But there's also a flat tax. And a flat tax would be, you know, everyone pays the same percentage. A third sort of option has come up called a consumption tax. Think of it as sales tax, okay. right? Mm -hmm. No income tax, okay, whatsoever. You got me so but you far. Pay, but, right. but everything is 25% more. Oh. Okay? You pay as you go. You get to write off your mortgage. You get to write off charity. That's it. Does it but wow. does it eventually just come what out you the consume, wash? Or? What you consume, you pay taxes on. The problem is low-income earners below, let's say, you know, let's talk about college kids and folks that are on minimum wage and people earning under $25,000. You'd have to give them a stipend because 25% out of their chunk is a lot harder to swallow than 25% uh, out of somebody okay. making 50 or 75 or 100,000 bucks. Right. Sure. But but um, I believe, and I had this conversation the other day, only because you said consumption did I get chase a rabbit here. Sure. Um, I believe we're going to see a tax change, a tax reform significant in our lifetime because you can't go with the same thing. I mean, it, it's just, it, and, and you think about, I'll, and I'll tell you why. Let me, I'll say two, I'll, I'll give you two examples. Uh, Amazon, Donald mm. Trump. Talk about it. They are using the same tax code that you are all using mm -hmm. to pay as little taxes as you can. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not. We're not. We're, we're not. Um, all we're trying to do is try to pay more than our fair share. Now, if the code is there, that's the problem. Shouldn't we be thinking in terms of higher on the food chain? Mm -hmm. Like maybe we should start maybe reenacting or, or reimagining what that tax code looks like, so that there aren't those loopholes. Change so companies like Amazon are paying taxes. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, it, it, look yeah. at I, I, I honestly, as much as I, as much as I, it gives me heartburn to look at some of the write-offs that some of the politicians and some celebrities and some of these major companies. It gives me heartburn to think they're not paying taxes. But guess what? They're doing the same thing I'm doing over here. Sure. Mm. I'm looking for as many write-offs as I can. Yeah. Right. And if, if there's if there's a write-off for having to suffer Mike Costa, I would write it <laughs> off. <laughs> 
this too. Hey, a bright, <laughs> a bright spot tonight. Okay, let's not talk about tax. Let's talk about something that's actually good to talk about, and that's uh, my friend Lucas Haldeman, who is the CEO of Smart Rent. SMRT is their stock symbol. SMRT, SmartRent.com, uh, real estate in this country, and he's this is the smartest guy I know about real estate and, and this business. Uh, accounts for 13 percent of the economy and GDP, makes up 40 percent of greenhouse gases uh, emissions, and he is here to solve the world in that. And, and they are really doing it. If you're following their company, watching what they're doing. And I'm not just talking about the stock. I'm talking about their, you know, reading their website and such. Uh, they're at the right place at the right time. Lucas, Happy New Year, sir. How are you? Hey, Happy New Year. Great to see you. Great to see and, you too, uh, man. I can't wait to get you in studio here. We got to get you in San Diego. It's it's it's, it's a hot skip and a jump for you, pal. It is. Love it to is have very you. soon. I could I could drive there and see you for dinner. So yeah, exactly. Uh, um, look at property technology is, is is creating this new type of profession here across across the country. But it's also uh, it's also uh, going to um, it's going to augment, uh, you know, kind of what we're going through with respect to uh, labor markets and such like that. But even more importantly, you know, now that this housing boom is over, pendulum swinging in the other direction, you guys are at the right place at the right time. For those folks uh, that haven't heard the story prior, Lucas, uh, talk about exactly what you guys are doing. And let's talk about 2023 here and what you're looking forward to. Yeah, quick recap for those that haven't heard. So we bring enterprise smart home to largely to people who own apartments and single family rentals. So really solving the problem of saying, how do you better protect your assets? How do you better optimize your assets? How do you run your assets with fewer staff? So you're talking about the taxes and the wage inflation we've seen going. Most of our, our multifamily owners are dealing with 60 to 70% staff turnover at their properties every year. And they realize we just can't keep doing this the same way. And that's where technology really comes in and, and where we come in at SmartRun and say, there's a better way, there's a new way to do this, and there's a new way to, to more effectively and more manage, which which leads to better bottom line, you know, more 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 taxes for them to pay. Well, the other piece of this, yeah, exactly. The, hmm. the, uh, but but if, if multifamily residences, and this is an example you gave us in the beginning, started deploying technology like you guys have, they're saving 5% across the board, maybe more. Is that, is that, is, are you still standing by that? Because everything I read says me, it tells me that you're right. Yeah, or even even more. I think that's conservative. I think we we're seeing we're seeing some owners now who they've said it publicly, so I can repeat it. They've been able to reduce staff by forty percent by implementing our platform. I mean, these are these are massive changes in the way we're doing business and in, in rental housing. Yeah, I, I th and I think you know if you think in terms of that, and of course we got to bring up the housing boom. I mean, look at now we're talking about rentals again, right? And that and that, that yeah. that's a, that's 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 a fact. Like, fact, have you guys? Um, are you guys talking about that swing pendulum swing in the opposite direction internally there? Because that means that owners and operators have got to prepare for an overflow of inventory, I mean, which means two scary things. Prices are going to go up for rents and they've got to, and they've got to figure out a way to, to make themselves profitable so they can keep their rents down. So they're not going to get, you know, heat from their tenants. Yeah. I mean, I think you're, you're seeing rents on a macro level start to soften and, and even retreat in some markets. I think, Look, we've had 10 years of, of, of straight line rent growth. So yeah. a little bit of a retreat is, is maybe okay. But I definitely think you're seeing operators go, I got to now focus on the expense side. Basically, yeah. for the last 10 years, we could just be be living off of rent increases and, and didn't have to worry about it. I think everyone knows that that, that movie is coming to an end. And, and now it's time to focus on, on the expense side and, sure. and really get disciplined. Hey, Lucas, uh, talk about the technology. And we'll bring up some screenshots here from your website. But talk about some of the yeah. examples of, of, of how both tenants and operators uh, can benefit from it because basically uh, there's a lot of misconceptions of what a smart home really looks like and what you guys are demonstrating is really what a smart home is. Yeah, that's right. And, and and really, if you think about the average renter, they've been locked out of the smart home revolution. It's been something for, for wealthy homeowners to enjoy for 20 years. And now residents are, are feeling like they're finally getting the, the, the playing field leveled where they can save money on their utilities. They can be able to control access to their their apartments who, when the dog walker comes, when the dog walker leaves. Uh, and so I think from the resident side, you get all the safety, security, and convenience benefits of a smart home. But on the ownership side, you, we, we're now better protecting our assets. 70% uh, of the damage done to multifamily is done by water. Uh, and so, so protecting against water leaks and understanding when water's leaking is vital. And then this idea of, of self-guided tours where you don't need to meet a leasing agent to go tour around the department. You can pre-qualify yourself using our platform and you can show up when it's convenient for you. I, you know, it's amazing to me that the number one tour time for us on our self-guided tour platform is 7 a.m. Number two is 8 a.m. So people want to come before work when it's convenient for them to go look at an apartment. We're basically not selling our product at that time. Yeah, you know what, Lucas, I, I swear, the more every time I talk to you, the more the time I spend on your website, 
One thing about going into the commercial real estate business or the residential business. Rick, thank you, pal. We'll see you next week. Great to talk to you. Happy New Year, bud. Every time Lucas Holliman. Everybody mentions how much water damage. Yeah. 70%. Yeah. Water damage. Amazing. Wow. SMRT is that stock symbol, by the way. You can email us and we'll give you the rest of the information. More Big Fizz is coming up.